I can do so many things with YouTube. You know, it's a great opportunity to just expand and be able to, you know, give the people that avenue because like I said, a lot of the advocacy issues which I have um, been involved in, it wasn't my idea. It's just that people know that I'm somebody who pays attention to certain things to do with the society, politics, health, um, the state of people, you know, mental health, all the different things, fashion. Like, I consider myself to be somebody who is well-rounded and, you know, keep abreast of things. So, people know that too. And when you have that confidence in yourself, it's going to show, like, everywhere you go. So, people are going to identify you, feel whatever. And, like, who am I to run away from the greatness in me? I'm sorry, but me not apologize to nobody. I'm, in a, I'm not going to pretend to be somebody that I'm not. And, you know, I feel so bad for the critics. I feel bad for them. They're so lonely. There's, like, two of them. <laughs> Nikisha, where are they? Nikki <laughs> where are you? <laughs> I wish my friend would, co would come and say how, like, not political I am. You know, because she knows, because I cuss both sides all the time in private with my friends. And I've said what I had to say here on the radio everywhere. Like, it's no secret. So those two lonely folks who keep coming on the internet and saying, it's politics. I'm like, do you drink water? Do you bathe? <laughs> you're so, you're so like, numb to yourself that you, you consider your political party before your needs. Y'all are ridiculous. I'm sorry for them. They're so embarrassing. Just them one on the internet that chat foolish. <laughs> well, everybody else is up with the topic and understands what I'm saying. And the people are all, you know, geared up to fight this fight and know that, listen, we have to come out on top because people them need water and them fight. That is it. Yeah. So the people have a lot of things which concern them. And I also want to say that this um, advocacy is not just about water. It's about making Negril awesome. That's the name of the group. Make Negril awesome. So if you love Negril, and by extension, the surrounding communities, because Negril is not just the beach road and the west end where the hotels are. It's like a whole place where people live. Where people need services, where people vote, where people are involved in advocacy. The, this group, the president of the Negril Chamber of Commerce is a part of it. She's so fed up about not being able to really get anything done that she, in an interview, called Negril a dump. This is one of the most famous tourist towns in the entire world. It's the home of the world famous Rick's Cafe. And everywhere you look, there's garbage. Before you reach the garbage, by the way, you smell it. If you're going up Good Hope Hill to go to Orange Hill, the big nasty garbage dump is there and it stinks. It smells like dead human bodies when you drive past. Yes. Friday, I'll be back at work tomorrow. All right. So, yes, guys, I'm back at work tomorrow, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, those are my days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So, there's garbage everywhere in this beautiful resort town with lots of all inclusives and lots of fancy places for tourists to go and people to visit and enjoy. Um, it's the home of big party series like Dream Weekend and Mocha Fest and you know, all the celebrities want to go there and stay at the rock house and on the cliffs and yeah. But you have potholes which run right across the road. They become trenches. Your retaining walls have been eroded by seawater after decades of not maintaining the retaining wall. Stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like simple stuff. So much tourist dollars are running in one place and the place garbage can't take up. People them not no water. Erode them bad. 
they play a steer bad. It won't fix up. And nobody not fit talk. And I so you go. The people that need water. So, yes, it's about making our community awesome. It's about collaborating with government and the agencies which are supposed to do these things. And if they want to keep them job, this is what we're saying to them. That you do the things which make the difference and you stay in your job. It's simple as that. The people are tired of people who come into power and do nothing. So it's not like one side can boast over the next side and say, oh, we did that do good, you know. I see the now no gone to bad. Not not go say people them did say oh no never did that do good. That the people them say. Mm. Somebody says we're not our grandparents who sat quiet. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're not our grandparents either who told you you have to vote for the house vote. Like everybody in the house have to vote the same. That's not working. It never worked. So now you have families who are branded as such family and such family. And the whole family vote the same way. And everybody's still in a poverty. Everybody's still want water. Everybody's still hungry. And can't afford to pay a bus fare. Buy gas. Wear one right it pair of shoes. You see what I say? So these are not joke issues. These are serious issues with your people, especially the young people, are not sitting around and saying, oh, no, and they, and they don't want $5,000 rolled up in a t-shirt when it comes to election time. A lot of these young people are not having it. Older folks are not having it too because they are tired. They've seen it. They've lived it. You have people who have voted both ways and are just done now. They're like, neither side is doing anything for the people. So they just don't bother. But we can't just roll over and give up on ourselves. So that's why we do what we do. So guys, link up. So, uh, okay, let me just be clear with you guys. For now, for the water issues... This is the place to be. My YouTube and whenever I have the devices available, I will do TikTok and Instagram like I'm doing now. But for the most part, it's, it's YouTube. Right? Where we can delve into things. And like I said, I can put podcasts together, get people to interview and all these things. So you come here. I will make sure, like I said, I don't know if you guys got notifications. Did anybody get notification for the YouTube? Let me know. And the link is in the bio on TikTok and Instagram. I didn't figure out how to get it on Facebook yet. But please share the link. Let people know that this is where we are continuing the advocacy on my YouTube channel for now. Other topics will be in my program on the radio. Feel free to send them in because, like I said, most of the times it is the cry of the people that really pushes me to do and say the things that I do and say. All right? Somebody said the TikTok was freezing up. I realize, but I'm just going to let it run until I'm finished because I'm going to be finished soon anyway. So I will come to YouTube with the information and share it with you here. Follow it up right here, right? And then there's so many other things. Like I said, like it's no surprise to the people who know me and follow me for years that I'm advocating for something. I mean, I, I'm still in the middle of the advocacy for Adriana, the fire survivor, who her and her father are on this journey, this healing journey. That's, that's my advocacy as well. Because many people were involved in the beginning and asked the father where they are now. I'm the one who said I'm helping this little girl to wherever I need to help her to. And I keep doing it. And when it's time for her to go away again, we're going to do some advocacy and raise some funds for her. As usual, when they go away, they need some money. They need some help. You know, they have to be accommodated and go to the hospital. The surgeries are for free. The give thanks for the hospitals in the U.S. So I'm no stranger to this type of thing. So give thanks to the people for the support. A lot of people did support that child and continue to support that child. 
and a lot of people have supported the different initiatives. Little Dons River, the, the river that we keep fighting and saying to the government, develop it for the use of the people. They're still fighting that because why they want to try and sell it off, allegedly. So these things are things that we cannot let go of. Because if we continue, then we will never become better. If we don't continue, rather, we will never become better. We will never reach anywhere with nothing more than a like a 90 attack. And then next thing again, because the place is so gruesome. I'm raping a guan and all type of immorality and nastiness that take over the place. Meanwhile, you have a whole media running them catch and kill campaign because when them see big story, like the water story, all them do is deflect in the favor of the people who they are in the company of. They deflect to all the different things. The latest one being a massive leak, which we will talk about at the meeting too. So the latest report coming out of the water ministry <laughs> is that there is a leak or leaks in Westmoreland causing 70% of the logwood water, which should go to the Westmoreland and the Hanover people, to disappear into thin air. That's the latest conversation. Did you all catch that? I guess not. Check it out. All right? So do a little research and we're going to meet up back here so. As Miss said, I'm going to make sure that I, um, you know, you guys turn on your notification so that you can know when I'm going to come. And then I'll be able to give you the information here. So check that out. The last thing out of the ministry, because I know you all are getting distracted by the different stories about drought, climate change, rain is coming, this, that, 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 except for the elephant in the room. So the last story that came out before, I think it was yesterday or Friday, out of the water ministry, is that there is massive leaks which cause up to 70% of the people's water to go to waste each day. You all check that out. I'm going to leave you guys with that. All right? And we're going to come back again. And we're going to talk about the thing then. Because the people, they must suffer. The people, they must suffer. You can't wake up and have to buy back the water for brush your teeth. Your picnic can't go to school. And they must wear back dirty socks because you couldn't wash over the weekend. You can't have people when you walk in them living room. It smell bad. You're smelling laundry. You can't have people on a Sunday can't cook them dinner and other days of the week have to eat box food. And things say, that's a great job and if everybody needs to work with it because we're going to put in pipes in 24 months. Like seriously, the people that wait more than 24 years for proper water system and them still have lead pipes. Lead asbestos, by the way. Asbestos, just in case. There's a mix-up. They are the ones who say asbestos pipes. We are told, it is alleged by the NWC, that asbestos pipes are a problem because they can't fix them. So why them not just take them out and give the people them some modern pipe when I'm poisoning them body? Like, I don't get it. Why are we so slow? And then when you talk now, you have these people who feel so privileged. To do the things they do and think that that is gonna silence somebody. So, anyway, as Mr. People, our time now. I can't go to my bed. I soon my bedtime. Come if you get up for your work, I'm on in. 10 o'clock on the radio. Alright? So, big up on yourself, big up to all my Irish listeners. I get all the messages, guys. Thank you so much for all the love and the support. Big up on yourself. We have to keep on keeping on. And doing what's right because everybody just can't join the campaign of silence. Everybody cannot catch and kill important stories. 
everybody cannot deflect with headlines. And not everybody wants to be in the favor of those people. Some people want to be in the favor of God. And the people who put them in their job and who keep me, as you all can see, as somebody who represents them in a good way to appeal to the conscience of these people. And if they don't have conscience, we have other things to appeal to, like them guilt. So that is it, my people. Big up on yourself. Y'all have been amazing. And the journey continues. So join me tomorrow on Area FM, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Like I said, for now, the water stories will come right here on my YouTube channel where I won't be filtered or any of the other things associated with dealing with this thing. Because as I can see, this is a big thing. All right. So big up the Make Negro Awesome group. Big up to everybody on TikTok. Big up to my Instagrammers. Thank you to everybody. Again, I can't thank you enough. And keep your prayers going, guys, because greatness doesn't come without challenges. I'm mere living proof of that. But nothing lasts forever. And once you know that you are doing the right thing and living in the right way, then you don't have nothing to worry about. Just go and live life and go and work the same way and let whatever course the creator has for your life just take that road there. Adapt me and work with. All right, so big up in the cell and catch me tomorrow. So I don't know. Sometimes I do the TikTok and Instagram live when I'm at work. I won't be doing the YouTube because I'm trying my best now to start getting my content together. So I'm not just doing only lives, but posting videos on YouTube that people can go and watch at their own convenience. But I'm so happy that I was able to do this to launch the YouTube channel for news and reviews. Make sure you guys turn on your notifications so that you can know when I'm coming live and you can know when I'm posting videos and you can go and watch and put your comments and, you know, share your story and whatever is happening with you in your community. Um, important issues only, though, and, you know, things of passion and things of um, good substance, higher vibrational stuff for my channel. So thank you guys so much again for all the love and outpouring of support. You're amazing. All right. And let's run the YouTube channel up. You guys did great. In a few days, I was up to 500 subscribers, which is why I was able to go live right now. Um, I'm always doing good with the TikTok. I mean, to be truthful, in the short space of time, I've been doing TikTok live. I have more views there than Instagram. But really and truly, the Instagram people, them, they're with me from a long time. I mean, love them. Facebook, I don't mean, know life on Facebook. I don't have four devices. I three me I work right now. Three is a good number. Yeah. So, <laughs> and then I don't even really post an X anymore. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So, I didn't get the time here, but I will come again. Like, I'll even do a recorded video and post so that we can be sure of the time. So, let me remind you one last time, guys. There are a series or there is a series of meetings coming up, which are part of the advocacy, the Make Negro Awesome group um, in collaboration with the political representatives in the area, um, TEF, and the Negro Chamber of Commerce, and other community leaders and interested persons coming together to continue the advocacy to fix this long-standing water issue and the recent increase in that problem due to, you all know already, Right? Uno go go watch the video them and listen to the audio them and know we know what may talk about. Right? And now we are being deflected away from that truth with the latest report which says that seventy percent of the people them water go to waste every day. Cause it leak out somewhere in a mysterious land on a Westmoreland. Yeah.
So anyway, people, big up on yourself again. The meeting at Satya, they're the first one. Then there's one coming up on the 30th. There have been other meetings which were more private because those meetings were to get some things organized to do with certifying the water trucks and so on. So big up some of the group members who handled that with the Ministry of Health. And that is gone through now. We have certified trucks and the police are helping to monitor the situation. Because I'm telling you, it's serious, but when you have to pay $60,000 for one truck of water, Tell me how much people can afford that. Even the hotel them, that's not sustainable. No care how them rich. That's not sustainable. The people need water in the pipe. So that's what it's about. Saturday, May 11, Negril Community Center. Come on out, people. And let your voices be heard. We're also going to put together a petition that we'll have people sign. And we're going to put one up online as well. As we continue to organize and centralize to help fix our own problems. And lead these people who are governing the country to the answers the people are actually providing the answers all the time if only they would just work and put them in but yeah we know setting us so easy so we have to just do what we have to do and you do what you have to do all right people big up on yourself let me come off my tiktok first since the connection is bad there anyway oh wait let me be polite good night tiktok toodles catch you tomorrow join me and irie blessings all right and i am going to be doing my my youtube last because um the highlight tonight was that i did my first youtube live all right so big up everybody thanks again it's my pleasure um sharing my time with you guys and the space on youtube is definitely the space to share your news your reviews your comments we'll have interviews lots of things coming up for the future all right we've only just begun so big up on yourself thank you again good night instagram catch you guys i know i mostly i'm on instagram that's where i am most frequently but we're gonna run it up on youtube as well i have i think 14,000 14 14.5 thousand um followers on instagram so let's get that number on youtube with subscribers all right guys thank you good night